Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope all of you are doing well and in today's video we are going to see that if you have some sort of issue with your payment method, maybe you need to update it, maybe it needs to be removed, you need to check how much funds are remaining, how exactly can you do that? So let's jump straight to it but before we do, if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel. That's how I get to know that my videos are actually helping you. For this, let's first open our account by going to ads.google.com. Now, in case you have not already signed into your account, let's sign into this. So let's just open any one account right here. So I'll just open this one. So guys, whenever you have to check anything which is related to billing, you can simply go right here. So let's say I want to check its entire summary that maybe how much have I paid, how much amount has been credited um, into this specific account that I've opened. Um, the same would be appearing right here. So let's say if I want to add more funds, I can simply click on add funds right here and then I'll be able to add money to it. So I'll need to add a payment method right here. Let's say if I want to add a credit card or net banking or bank transfer, so on and so forth. Please remember that not all credit or debit cards can be used with Google Ads. So while you add a credit card, you'll have to check whether that specific card is eligible to be added to your account or not. Now let's say if there is any sort of payments that you have made lastly that would appear right here. So you know what, let me just open another account as well. So this right here is an account on which I have been running the campaigns. I want to check its billing and you'll be able to see the available funds that how much funds are remaining in this account right now plus whenever you did the last payment that would also appear here that let's say last payment was made on january 23 along with the amount as well as the card via which the payment was made similarly let's say if i want to look at this month wise that is also available here that in january how much payment have i made similarly in december november october all the details which are related to your payment would appear right here now after that let's say maybe i need to download or have an invoice of these different payments it could be for your tax purposes or for anything so simply click on view documents right here and for all these different months now you would be able to download these invoices directly so simply click on download and for this specific amount that you have paid you would now be able to download its invoice now let's say let me just cross this up. If I now want to check the different payment methods which are actually added for me to be able to make the payment, I'll simply go on payment methods right now, here. So all the different methods, like let's say if maybe I've added some sort of credit card, some sort of debit card, all of those details would be appearing right here. If I need to remove any of these different credit cards or debit cards that I've added, I'll simply click on remove, that's it. However, if I need to add a different payment method, I'll simply click on add payment method right here. And now let's say if I want to add a credit or debit card, I'll again click right here, give my details of card number, um, along with some other details like when does it expire, CVV, so on and so forth. And OTP would be generated, which would now be required to add into this platform, this dashboard right here. Once you've done that, you can hit save and that's it. Your payment method would now be added to Google Ads account. Apart from this, let's say you want to check different settings for this. Again, go to billing right here, click on settings. Now over here, if you want to manage your payment methods, you can simply click right here. Plus the way you pay here, like is it prepaid, is it postpaid? Those details would also appear right here. Along with this, let's say what are the payer details in which account, what is your Google payments account? All of this information would be displayed right here. Apart from this, you could also be asked for advertiser verification if you have a new account. So in that scenario, let's see how can that be done. So I'll just open a new account for this in which advertiser verification has not happened. So right here in billing, simply go to advertiser verification. Like you can see here, if you click on start task, a couple of questions would be asked here, which would be um, related to your organization. So right here, like you can see, is your organization an advertising agency? Based on what exactly is it that your organization does, you can select either yes or no. Now let's say if I select no right here, then who pays for your ads? 
simply select these different options so like this there would be a couple of questions that would be asked to you which would be around um the business or the organization for which you want to run the ads and once you have answered all these different questions google is now going to review this information so please remember it can take any time between 1 to 10 days for google to review this information if it is taking more time you can simply um, contact the team of google and ask them that let's say it has been 2 weeks or 3 weeks and i have not really received a verification yet so guys this is all that you had to know about the billing option of google ads in case there is any other issue that you are facing do let me know in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching my video if you are new to this channel and like this video then do not forget to give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you later bye bye